there was a complete review day yesterday where we went over all the structures. We did a little bit of a Kahoot. Um, so there's plenty of opportunity for you to study. Hopefully you took some time in your own hands and did that as well. But we've also done that together. So what we're going to do is you need to go to Schoology and in today's folder. So I'll get this pulled up and help you find it. So we're in week 23, February 8th through February 12th. We are in Tuesday, February 9th folder. Okay. And directions are up here, a bunch of links here. And then we have the earthworm dissection quiz. That's what you're going to go to. The earthworm dissection quiz. Click on that, and then I'll read the directions to you. Please let me know if you cannot access this. Otherwise, I'm assuming that with silence, that means everybody can access it. Okay, so I'll start on the directions. It says, please complete the earthworm dissection quiz using Kami. The first page deals with the external structures of the earthworm. Look at the numbers on the external view of the earthworm on page two. Write the body part that matches the number and then write the function of each body part. The function is what the body part does or what it's used for. So I'll put that in there. What the body part does. Or what its purpose is. All right. Then page three deals with the internal structures of the earthworm. Write the internal body part that matches each number, then write the function of each internal body part. So again, the function is what the body part does or what its purpose is. Okay. So then we're going to open this with Cami. Uh, I don't really care about this stuff. Um, no thanks. X out of that. All right, so the first page, yep, it's all blanks. You're going to have to scroll between page two and page one. Your numbers are over here on the side. You have one, two, three, four, five, six as one thing, seven. There is no eight. All right, yes, we are aware there's no eight, nine, and ten. And look at 10. 10 says not in the diagram. Oops. I want that to be a highlight. 10 says not in the diagram. It is the posterior end of the intestine. Okay. So I'm going to go through this with you. You can come with me. You can go ahead. If you have a question, please raise your hand, okay? And I will do my best to help you out, okay? So I'm going to start with number one. You do not have to start with number one. You can move on ahead. There are, there's no word bank. Try your best. <clears throat> Skip it if you need to and come back, all right? One, let's go look at number one. So I'm looking at the external structure. Number one is right here, pointing at this portion of the earthworm. So what is its name? And what does it do? Okay. Welcome, Sawyer and Aiden. Okay, so Sawyer and Aiden, 
We are taking the earthworm dissection quiz. We have to have this turned in by the end of the hour. We're going to go through it together. As we talked about, we've had ample time to study about study this. I'll show you how to find it. So we are in the Tuesday folder. We're in, well, I'll start from the beginning. We are on the front page of school, your science school. You go down to week 23. Go down to Tuesday. and go down to the earthworm dissection quiz. Click on it, and then open the assignment with Cami. So Aiden, I think you just missed that. What you need to do is go into the Tuesday folder, Tuesday, February 9th, click on the earthworm dissection quiz. The rest of you can go ahead and Keep going if you need to while I get these guys caught up. All right. Okay, so earthworm dissection quiz. Here we go. Back at it. going to erase this because I don't want it to affect anybody that opens up that cami. So let's do this instead. All right, the next one, the next blank. Number two, okay, number two and its function. Number two is pointing to this structure right here. What is the name of that structure and what does it do? <clears throat> All right, number three, 
and try to zoom in as best I can. You can see it on your sheet. Number three is pointing, and it's got like, it's a little bracket here, so it's pointing at one of these sections of the earthworm. What is that? Right here. One section of the earthworm. What is it? Yes, Aiden. What's up? Question? Question? Fire away, someone might have the same question as you. Cooper? Does spelling matter? Spell the best that you can. Okay. I'm not going to downgrade you for it. All right, we're moving on to number four, five, and six. Okay, four, five, and six are all grouped together. They're all grouped together. They serve the same purpose, so they have the same function. Okay. So four, five, and six just have one line. And they have the same function. Next one, let's go to seven. So we're skipping over nine for now. Seven, pointing at this band. What's the name of that? What does it show or what does it do? Remember, this is the external, the outer body parts of the earthworm. Okay, 
Let's go to nine. So the next one is nine. Pointing at these little things on a portion of the earthworm. What are those things called? And what did they do? And then finally, number 10. Number 10 was actually added. <clears throat> to the diagram. Number 10, it's on the posterior end of the intestine. So, let me take a look. You have it here. This is the absolute posterior end of the worm, and it's pointing at this, at the end of the worm. What is the name of it, and what does it do? All right, so that was the external. Portion. Move on to the internal portion of the earthworm. right now. So now we're looking at page three. This is page three. Uh, we can actually start with external again. Uh, yep. So we'll start with external again. Again, here is another picture of it externally on the left. This is the outer view of the earthworm. Number seven and number nine. Okay, the two circled ones. Seven is pointing to, again, the little structures. Nine is pointing to this band on the earthworm. What are the names of those? If you got them on the first page, you should definitely get them on the third page. Okay, and what do they do? Okay, so seven and nine. Those are external. Let's move on to the next section. We're looking at digestive system of the earthworm, and this is going to go basically in order from the anterior end to the posterior end, but not all the way. Eh, not really. We'll go through it together. Okay, not in order. 16. First of all, you can write these, or sorry, 
just so you know what you're looking for, you're looking for 16, 17, 18, 27, and 25. 16, 17, 18, 27, and 25. Five parts of the digestive system that we need to identify. All right. The first one is 16, pointing right here at that structure. What is the name of that structure? And what's the purpose? 17 is the structure of the organ directly below it in the earthworm, right here. And 18, again, is the organ directly below that organ, right here, the tube-like structure. So 16, 17, 18. Okay, the next part of the digestive system we're looking at is 27 and 25. You can see 25 is pointing to this structure right there. And 27 right here, the tube-like structure right there. Make sure that even these are out of order. But 27 goes here and 25 goes here. If you're having trouble, we can you can always come back to it. And just take your best guess sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the circulatory system. Circulatory system. You are looking at Numbers 28 and 35, 28 and 35. So let's go up to 28. 28 is pointing at these right here. And 35 is pointing at 
this long thing that runs along the earthworm. What are those things and what are the functions? And the last thing that we're going to be quizzed on today is the nervous system. You only need to remember one organ from the nervous system. And that's number 23. 23. It is up here. Okay, 23 is pointing to right here. Now, if you remember the super complicated way to spell it or say this word, you would get extra credit for that. Or you can go with the simplified version. Okay. So those are your internal structures on the first page. We looked at your external structures. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus seven functions. That's 14. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 total structures, 17 functions be 34 points for this okay all right i'm going to stop recording now